Hi everyone, it's Jen Sheffer. Thanks for joining me for today's training tutorial. We are going to look at how we can create a matching pairs interactive activity in Nearpod. So you can see I'm in my Nearpod library and I've created a lesson called the New England States. So I'm going to hover over that and I'm gonna click on edit so you can see um, how I went about creating that matching pairs game and, and what it looks like exactly. So you would click on add slide and you would click on activities and then matching pairs. Just gonna show you by clicking on this, I'm gonna double click on it to open up the matching pairs game and show you what it looks like. Um, I think this is a great activity uh, for our visual learners and um, it's going to really allow you to differentiate uh, your instructions. So you can see here, I have identified all six states. So what you'll do is click on add pair, you type the text on one side, and then you add your image on the other side. When I clicked on add image, I was able to just do an image uh, search right from within Nearpod uh, with Google. And I just typed in state of New Hampshire. And then I was able to select an image um, from the search results. Um, just to give you fair warning, there are sometimes when you click a certain image, you may get a warning that says it's not the, the correct file type. And that is an example there. So what you can do is just go back in, do state of New Hampshire. If you find something on your computer, you can always upload that too. I just clicked um, a different image here and that file type was supported. So then um, another thing I wanna point out when you upload your images, you have the ability to zoom in and out of those images. And as I said, you can enter text on one side or another image on the other side. It's totally up to you. So I'm gonna just go ahead and X out of this. Um, but that is a very quick and easy way to create a matching game for your students. You can also time them. So to add a, an extra element of fun uh, for your students. If, if you think that's necessary, you can specify the number of minutes and seconds that they will have to do this matching activity. Um, and then you can, again, save and assign the lesson, launch it in real time with them. Great way to get a morning meeting started or at, at the beginning of a lesson to preview the content. Again, you can click on preview, see what this is going to look like. The instructions are asking if they can identify the six New England states, and then the students would go ahead and start to um, do this matching game. So uh, again, lots of interactive activity options for your students. Matching pairs is another option you could try with Nearpod. I hope this has been helpful, and uh, I will see you soon with additional tutorials.